In his speech today, Joe Biden will say that your policies represent an existential threat to this nation. What do you say to Joe Biden? Well, I heard Biden, uh, who's a loser. I mean, look, Joe never got more than 1%, except Obama took him off the trash heap, and now it looks like he's failing. But I heard, he, you know, his whole campaign is to hit Trump. You look at what the Obama administration did in terms of the military, in terms of security, in terms of other nations, in terms of almost everything. Much of it now, fortunately for everybody here, has been overturned. But look, when a man has to mention my name 76 times in a speech, that means he's in trouble. Now, I have to tell you, he's a different guy. He looks different than he used to. He acts different than he used to. He's even slower than he used to be. So I don't know. But when he mentions my name that many times, I guess I should be complimented. No, I'd rather run against, I think, Biden than anybody. Uh, I think he's the weakest mentally. And I like running against people that are weak mentally. I think Joe is the weakest up here. I call him 1% Joe, because until Obama came along, he didn't do very well. But I, look, look, but I don't bring him up. Joe Biden thought that China was not a competitor of ours. Joe Biden is a dummy. Joe Biden thought China was not a competitor. China made $500 billion over a short period of time against Obama, Biden, and for many, many years, in all fairness to them. China is a major competitor, and right now China wants to make a deal very badly. It's me right now that's holding up the deal. And we're going to either do a great deal with China, or we're not doing a deal at all. Right now, China is paying us billions and billions of dollars. They never gave us 10 cents. And China ate our country alive during Obama and Biden. They ate us alive. And then Biden has some kind of a relationship financially or his son with China. Tell me about that. Because China ate the United States alive economically. And it's a shame.